Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Adorkable Rachel and it's time for another episode of Muppet Monday! Say, have you ever wanted to sit in a room with a bunch of original Muppeteers and listen to them talk about their experience of being puppeteers, share stories of Jim Henson, and also talk about how the public views puppeteers? Well now you can with the new documentary Muppet Guys Talking, now available to watch online. The film finally became available this past Friday and it is exactly what it sounds like. It features five original Muppeteers sitting around in a New York loft and talking. Mm, I don't know, sounds kind of... Boring, no? But wait a minute, if you're a Muppet fan, how can you possibly pass this up? They're going to be talking about the Muppets and sharing secrets and they even curse a couple of times. Go ahead, I don't give a shit. Go ahead, go ahead. Just <laughs> give me the damn hamburger. Whoa, sign me up! The footage for this film was originally shot in 2012, but it only came to completion in 2016. And it's apparently only now finally getting released. I don't know why it took so long, but okay. The film was directed by Frank Oz and produced by Oz and his wife, Victoria LaBombe. And apparently it was originally Victoria's idea to produce the documentary because she was lucky enough to hear a bunch of stories about the Muppeteers and Jim Henson and she thought it would be a good idea to share those stories with the public. Girl, you did a good job finally getting your husband to get this film together. The five Muppeteers featured in this documentary are Frank Oz, Dave Goles, the late Jerry Nelson, Fran Brill, and also Bill Beretta. Most of these performers had worked with Jim Henson since the time that a lot of his characters were becoming household names, except for Bill Beretta, who had become a Muppet performer later on, but a lot of his characters are still used to this day, and he clearly does have a really great relationship with all of these guys. Plus, he's also the Muppet captain on a lot of Muppet projects these days, so yeah, it makes sense that he became a part of the conversation. Seriously though, Bill's the man. The film starts with Frank Oz showing us the famous Muppet pipes, which were painted by Oz, Jim Henson, Jerry Joel, and Don Salen in 1964 while they had some downtime before filming on The Jack Parr Show, and Frank explains why this is so important to him. Because it represents the spirit of the Muppets. Great little introduction! So now we have a good idea of what's going to be touched on in this documentary. Right after that, we get an introduction of all the Muppeteers and the different characters that they performed and created, and then we get to them all sitting comfortably in some chairs and doing exactly what the title said they would do. Talking. One thing you will notice right away is that everyone in this discussion has a really long history. They chat about how they became involved with the Muppets, they comfortably tell stories about working with each other and also tease each other quite a bit, and they also talk about their fond memories of Jim Henson as well as look back lovingly on what it was like to work with him and know him as a person. It's especially endearing when they all kind of take their turns imitating Jim Henson and also kind of refer to him as though he's still alive today. And one of my favorite parts of the documentary is when the Muppeteers start talking to each other about the various processes of how they created characters over the years. Almost all of them seem to agree that one of the biggest misconceptions of being a puppeteer is that so many people think that someone else is doing the voice, which usually is not true. These puppeteers let us in on the big secrets of where the voices and characteristics from so many of their iconic characters came from, and it gives us this great understanding that their puppet characters are usually a lot more layered than we realize. Plus, it also shows us how much thought they put into their performances. The way they describe their individual processes individually gives us this great insight of how much more it takes to be a puppeteer. Oh no, they don't just create voices, they create characters with lovable faults. Something else that I noticed about this documentary is that they're really not trying at all to hide that this is a documentary. Cause you know, a lot of documentaries out there will try to hide the cameras and ultimately end up cutting things that, you know, were not meant to be said or could be easily reshot. But this documentary, they don't do that. Because you can clearly see a bunch of the cameras in the background and also several times the performers will just say that they can go ahead and cut whatever it is they just said. So they didn't really need a blooper reel in the end because they kept a lot of the bloopers in the movie. And on top of all that, they even take a break for coffee halfway through the movie. I, really? The breaking for coffee scene was so essential? Man, they are just not trying to hide anything in this film. It's like the movie's telling you that this is a good time to grab a snack or use the bathroom. Oh, and they just keep on talking while they get coffee and snacks. 
And they're also not afraid to show the film crew. And I get the idea that by doing this, they were kind of trying to create an environment where nothing is really left to the imagination anymore, which is okay, I guess, in the end. And I also love that the puppeteers allowed us to see how a lot of Muppet scenes were filmed over the years. And it's also really cool that they were able to humorously look back at some of the dangerous situations they were put in, as well as how often they had to be cramped down to make certain scenes work. It's not only interesting, but it also shows that the job of a puppeteer is a lot harder than it looks. But it's also very intriguing to hear all this because the Muppeteers love to talk about Jim Henson and just how fearless he was when creating everything. He was willing to take suggestions and try just about anything and go the extra mile to make characters come to life. And even though I'm sure a lot of that stuff was stressful for the performers at the time, it's actually really nice to see them lovingly look back at just how passionate Jim was and how much he loved to make the impossible possible and also just how much he wanted to make the world a better place. When I first heard about the development of this documentary, I had a good idea in my head that this was going to be a really good way to introduce to the public the importance of the people who perform the Muppets, and in a way, that's what it mostly is. The performers are able to talk about what it's like to be a puppeteer, they discuss all the characters they created, and also get to talk about how their craft is often taken for granted. It's a really great insight to the world of the Muppets that so many people aren't familiar with, and I greatly appreciate that. And on that note, I had a strong feeling that if you're a die-hard Muppet fan, then we probably would not be hearing a lot of new information, like a lot of the stuff they talk about is stuff we've heard before. But actually, there's quite a bit of information that I don't think was told to us yet. There are a bunch of really funny and really touching stories in here that I don't think had ever been mentioned to the public. Plus, I think the biggest added bonus is that we really get to see these puppeteers talk and interact with each other outside of their job as performers. And we get to see them reminisce and laugh and tease each other and remember the good old days, and there's something just so special about that. And another thing that they touch on that's really pulling at a lot of people's feels, apparently, is that the reason the Muppets shine so well is because what they've created heavily celebrates silliness, absurdity, and folly. There's a reason that the Muppets have spoken to so many people over the years because, according to these guys, the Muppets are very different and embrace madness and recklessness, but in a very loving way. According to Jerry Nelson, a lot of kids and adults who feel shunned and different have a really special connection with the Muppets because they're also weird and different, but they also just like hanging out with each other and love each other regardless. As human beings, we all feel a little lost and out of place at times, but with the Muppets, it's okay to feel different. In fact, I think it's pretty amazing when a lot of absurd and different kinds of people come together, and that's also a really beautiful way to look at the world through the eyes of the Muppets and their performers. So, was this documentary worth the wait? Absolutely. It's exactly what you want as a fan, and it's also a lot of informative and compelling information if you're not already a fan of the Muppets and their performers. The only big complaint that I really have for this film is that it's way too short. Seriously, it's only like about an hour and five minutes long. And I can't imagine why that is, because apparently there was about nine hours of footage filmed, so why make it so short? Maybe it was cut for time for festivals, or maybe there wasn't enough discussion? I don't know. But really, I could have listened to these guys talk for hours. I wouldn't have cared if it turned out to be a three hour long documentary. In my mind though, reasonably, I think this could have been like an hour and a half long. Easy. But other than the short length, I really enjoyed this documentary, and from what I've been hearing, just about everyone else did too. At the heart of this movie, it truly is a love letter to Jim Henson and his creations and how much he touched the lives of so many people that he worked with. And while we have seen other documentaries with Muppet performers, this is the first time that we actually get to see them talking with each other and sharing history and stories, and it's just like being in the room with them. Whether or not you have knowledge of the Muppeteers and the background of the Muppets, this documentary is such an engaging and enlightening look at the spirit of the Muppets and their creators. If you want to watch Muppet Guys talking, you can only do it on their website, which is listed right here, and I'll also include the link in the description down below. You can buy just the film and have access for life, or if you want to spend a little extra, you can also buy the VIP package, which is only available before March 21st, which also includes live hangouts with the guys, Facebook community access, and you'll also have access 
access to deleted scenes, outtakes, and other great moments. Aha! See? I told you there was more they could have included. I love this documentary, I wish there was more, and who knows, maybe if we're lucky we'll get a Muppet Guys Talking too someday, with more participants. Hey! Anything's possible! So those are my thoughts on the Muppet documentary, Muppet Guys Talking, so now I want to know, what did you think of the documentary? Are you a big Muppet fan? Are you new to the community? Is there anything in here that you found really surprising? Is there any piece of information in this documentary that especially got your attention? Also let me know, are there any other topics or events coming up that you want me to talk about in future Muppet Monday episodes? Well go ahead and leave your comments below, be sure to like and share, and if you're new and like what you saw here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also be sure to hit the little bell button down there to get notified when new stuff comes out because I make new videos every week! Bye, Jerka Buddies! I'll see you soon!